What's good, Skins fans? What's good, y'all? What's good? Victory, man. We won a game, man. We won a game. I can't believe we won a game. I can't believe we won a game. We got a lot to talk about, man. Once again, thank you guys for joining the stream. If you did, like and comment and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the support I've gotten, man. I appreciate you guys, man. Um, the season's been trash. Uh, once again, Adam Rank is a clown. Said it before. People been like, oh, you need to apologize. He's a clown. He's, the man's a clown. Um... Josh Norman was benched. We played better without him. I wrote down a lot of notes. There's a lot to get to. Um, first and foremost, I guess we're just going to get to the meat and potatoes about um, Dwayne Haskins. We're going to talk about Dwayne Haskins. Um, I, If you've watched my videos, I've been the most supportive of Dwayne Haskins. I've been um, the biggest supporter of Dwayne Haskins. I've been the biggest defender of Dwayne Haskins. Um, I could really trademark Haskins haters because I've called people Haskins haters um, or somebody, one of my subscribers said, Haskins haters, um, ha uh, Dwayne is going to prove the Haskins haters wrong. And um, this game, I, I just thought he played pretty bad. He, he's pretty bad. Um, I asked people in the stream, um, what grade would you give for Dwayne Haskins? And he gets no more than a C- minus to me. He gets like a D plus or C-. minus. I mean, let's read his stats. He was 13 for 29, one pick. Now, Haskins is a rookie. Let's, let's not get it twisted. He's a rookie. He's going to get better. But his touch is bad. His touch is really bad. He missed Terry McLaurin for an easy touchdown in the beginning of the game. He missed Terry McLaurin in the fourth quarter for an easy touchdown. Um, now, even on that third and five or whatever it was, third and five, um, second and five, whatever it was, when we were getting in field goal range, we were past field goal range, about less than a minute left in the game. He still overthrew Terry a little bit on that slant round. Terry had to extend himself. Terry's, what, like six, ten, five, eleven at the most? He had to extend himself. And barely catch the football. Dwayne's got to stop acting like he's throwing the ball to Shaq or Yao Ming. Like you're not throwing the ball to Yao Ming. You're not throwing the ball to freaking uh, 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 um, a tall tight end like it's Jordan Reed or, or you know, some. I mean, I don't know who you think you're throwing the ball to, Kevin Durant or something. I mean, you're throwing the ball to Terry McLaurin, who's five foot ten. Man, you cannot keep throwing the ball so freaking high and overthrowing this man. I mean, seriously, come on, Dwayne. But he's going to get better with time. This is this is big for Dwayne's confidence. I think this is a huge confidence booster for Dwayne. Now, Dwayne was taking selfies after the game. And when Dwayne got the first down, when he ran for the first down, which was huge, it was a big play. It was a big gutsy play. Like I said, it just reminded me of Devon, Donovan McNabb, the way he threw, the, where he ran like that. Dwayne got up and was like, ah, and all this stuff. And I was like, yeah, I don't know if you really should be celebrating like that. And then the next play, he throws the ball and gets tipped and almost got interception. So that's the only... I think I'm gonna say about Dwayne, but I'm happy that he got this win. I think it's just some confidence. Dwayne, it's mental. It's mental. He says the league done messed up, but he needs to show the league that they really messed up, and he needs to play better. I'm sorry, and it's only gonna come with time. Dwayne, Dwayne is gonna get better with time, man. He has to play. He cannot sit behind Case and Colt. Him sitting on the bench is not gonna get him better. He has to play. You have to play the game. You have to play the game to wit to get better. He has. To play the game to get better, he's not gonna he's not gonna get better by sitting on the bench. He's just not one of those guys. He's not like Pat Mahomes. He's not like one of those quarterbacks where you sit behind somebody and get better. He's not like that. You can just tell mentally, mentally, and the way he plays, he actually needs to get reps and, and focus on his touch. His touch is bad. He needs to work on his touch. He can't throw a short pass the right way. Sometimes he throws it a little too hard, and the deep passes he throws a little too hard, and, and it shows. And the only way he's gonna get better is by playing. He needs to work on touch. And that's the only way I see him getting play, getting um, getting better as a quarterback. Now, that's this is the, this is probably the most critical I've ever been on Dwayne Haskins. And like I said, if you listen to my videos, I've never been really I have been a little critical, but I've probably been the nicest to Dwayne out of all the YouTubers and everybody that I know that's a that's a Redskins YouTuber or a Redskins fan. I've probably been the most positive about Dwayne, and I've been defending him the most. But like I said, when you play bad, I will call you out on it. Kelvin Harmon, I'm a Kelvin Harmon fan. But that drop was some BS. That was a BS drop. Drop. That was an easy catch. I don't give a dang. Somebody tried to say it was Haskins' fault. That was Calvin Harmon's fault. But, you know, I believe in Calvin Harmon. And he, he choked that away. That was a choke. He had hands like a snake and dropped the football. It was terrible. It was terrible. That should have been a first down. And we should have been won the game. Now, we should have been up 21-3. to three. At one point, we had Steven Sims as a GOAT. He's, he's, I don't know why Trey Quinn is returning punts. Steven Sims needs to return punts. He needs to return everything. I don't give a dang if you I, – I get pissed when Steven Sims calls a fair catch. I don't give a darn. Steven Sims, you need to take – if you're in the back of the end zone, you need to run the ball out because you're our best offensive weapon. 
In that game, he was our best offensive. And of course, Terry's our best offensive weapon. But our offensive play calling is so trash. I don't even trust our offense to move the ball downfield. I only trust Steven Sims right now. I only trust Steven Sims to set us up to score. That's the only thing I really trust right now. Like I said, Steven Sims, don't you dare call a fair catch. I don't give a freak. You need to run the football out of the end zone because you're the only person that has a chance to even score the football. Um, so Steven Sims gets an A-plus from me. Um, who else? Quentin Dunbar. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Quentin Dunbar. The defense. I guess I'll start with the defense first. Quentin Dunbar. My gosh. Quentin Dunbar is incredible. Um, he, he did get burned a couple times by Kenny Galladay. But Quentin Dunbar, he, please, guys, please please vote for Quentin Dunbar. Please vote for Quentin Dunbar for the Pro Bowl. Please vote that man as the Pro He deserves to be in the Pro Bowl. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry. He needs to be in the Pro Bowl. He seriously does. Um, we almost let Jeff Driscoll do whatever he felt like doing. At one point, he was actually running the read option and running the football. Um, there was one time where we called a read option. Kevin O'Connell or whoever, Bill Callahan, called a freaking read option for um, Dwayne Haskins. And I was I was pissed if you saw the live stream. I was pissed because Dwayne Haskins is slow as dirt. Um, oh, I'm not going to say slow as dirt, but he's not that fast to be running a read option. It's just, that's not going to work, man. Nobody's going to be intimidated or scared if Dwayne Haskins run a, runs a read option. Um, another terrible play call was when they did that BS. Um, it was like a fake pass, and they did a flea flicker with Steven Sims or a Philly special or whatever you call it. In the fourth quarter. In the fourth quarter. And I'm sorry, I don't want to get mad. You know, people say I'm emotional. I'm a, I'm a fan. I don't give a freak. You know, fans are fans. You can you can be emotional, whatever you feel like doing. If you're a fan, you're a real fan. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to yell and whatever. No fan is going to be like Tim Duncan and just have a straight face or Bill Belichick and be a straight, have a straight face the whole time. So it is what it is. But um, what's his name? Um, that was a terrible play call. Steven Sims. Why, why are we running a Philly special with Steven Sims throwing the ball in the back? Oh, my gosh. That was so dumb. But um, positives, I guess. Um, Darius Geis looked good. Agent Peterson did some good things. Darius Geis had a couple good catches um, out of the back. I like, I like Darius Geis as a pass catcher. I really like him a lot. If he can just stay healthy, please stay healthy, Darius Geis. Please stay healthy. Um, Dwayne threw a bad pick. Uh, Trey Quinn and, per- and Paul Richardson. I would shut them down for the rest of the season. Uh, I would put Paul Richardson in the IR and then I guess release him um, when the season's over. Um, Trey Quinn, we'll see. I don't know. It's, I don't know what to say about him. Um, Terry McLaurin. I, I don't hate. I don't hate Trey Quinn. I don't necessarily hate Paul Richardson, but it's just not working. It's just not working. I'm sorry. It's, it's not working. The money we're paying Paul Richardson is not worth it. Just draft another receiver. Um, so those are the receivers. Jeremy Sprinkle is just. I'm not. I'm. I'm not even gonna talk about Jeremy Sprinkle anymore. I, I think I'm done with him. Um, he he had another drop today. Pretty bad drop. Landon Collins is a beast. He is a beast. He's a dog. He's a dog. He, he's been balling lately. He's he's been he's been living up to the hype. He's been living up to the hype. I like Landon Collins. Um, Monte Nicholson cutting out all the noise. We know what's happening off the field with Monte. Um, you know there's some funny people in the stream who are making jokes about that. I'm not joking about somebody's death and stuff like that. So you know when you do talk about it, just you know be careful what you say, guys, about Monte Nicholson. But um, he he played well. He had the little ski mask on. Looked like the um, the evil villain, the black evil Spider Man. With the long tongue, I forgot the name of the Spider-Man the, uh, character for real, but um, that's what it looked like when he was wearing that little ski mask or whatever, and had the little teeth on it. Monte Nicholson played well; he was a hard hitter. He played well. Uh, I'm trying to think who else on the defense. Jonathan Allen stepped up. He forced a fumble. He forced a big fumble. Cole Holcomb had a sack. He played well. Montez Sweat. I've been, I've been, like I said, I've been, I've been a big defender of Montez Sweat and um, and Dwayne Haskins. Montez Sweat, and I called him out during the stream. I called him out. I was like Montez. You need to make a play because he missed a sack on Driscoll. He had he had Driscoll right here. He could have wrapped him up. He would just play like a freaking man, like a grown man. You would have been sacked and could have strip fumbled him, but he just missed the tackle and was just soft. SOF, soft. Not soft with a T, but soft. He was soft. And uh, let Driscoll get away. And Driscoll, I think, threw the ball for like an easy first down or something like that. And Montez, you just got to gotta make a tackle, man. We, we want to see this. We want to see heart from you, Montez. That's all I'm asking. I just want you to play with heart, man. Play with energy. Play with some dog in you. And just be mean. Just be mean. We need you to be mean, Montez. We don't need you to be nice. We need you to be mean. We need you to be mean for real. We need, we need you to be not like Miles Garrett, hit somebody on the head with a helmet. We don't we don't need you doing this, but we just need you to be mean. Be mean like Miles Garrett. Do that. Don't don't like I said. Don't hit somebody in the head, but just be mean. We need we just need you to be mean. We need you to be an a hole. Um, Cole Holcomb played well. Fabian Moreau stepped up, made some big plays. You know he's gotten an opportunity since Josh Norman sitting down. Fabian Moreau stepped up, made some plays, two picks. Um, my Ionitis played well. My Ionitis had a good tackle. Uh, Ryan Kerrigan went out with a concussion, I think. So that probably means his season is over. You know how concussions happen with the Redskins. Jordan Reed, Vernon Davis. Um, injuries with those guys, they just linger and linger. You never know what happens with a concussion. 
So, um, yeah, it's, it's done. Jimmy Moreland stepped up. He 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 dropped the he dropped the freaking um, pick, and I was pissed. I was pissed off with Jimmy Moreland that he dropped that interception. I was, I was livid with Jimmy Moreland. I was really mad, but he made some really good tackles, and he um he he made some big plays. He made some big plays here and there. Um, you know, he made a good pass deflection on Kenny Galladay on like a second down play in the slot. Um, so, but, you know, I, I'll, I'll give Jimmy a pass. You know, you cannot drop the ball like that. You cannot have butter hands and, and drop the ball like that. You just really piss me off like that. When people drop passes, that's, that's like my pet peeve. When you drop a pass, it's, just, it's like missing a layup. It just really pisses me off. Um, so, I mean, we beat a bad team with a uh, backup quarterback and, um, Jeff Driscoll. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm, I'm hyped up over this win, but I think it's, it's a confidence thing. It's a confidence thing for Dwayne Haskins. This should build on his... Confidence. I, I I think we play the Panthers next week, and the Panthers just gave up a lot of points to the uh, Saints. The Saints always put a lot of points on the board, but they just gave up thirty seven points to the Saints. And it's a week to week league, so you need to. Haskins needs to practice tomorrow. He doesn't need a day off. He needs to practice tomorrow. He needs to get in there and work on touch. He needs to throw the ball to Terry McLaurin when it's dark outside. He needs to do all that stuff that you see on TV. Throw the throw the ball to Terry with his eyes closed. Throw the ball to Terry with the lights with the when it's dark outside. Go out to. Go out to freaking FedEx Field, go out there, have him put one little light on and just throw the football. Just throw it, man. And you need to work on your touch. You got to work on your touch. And I believe in you, Dwayne Haskins. I'm not one of the people that want to trade you and, and draft Joe Burrow or draft Tua. I've always been the first one to shut that down. I've been the first, first, first person to shut that down. First person on Twitter, on YouTube, all that. I've been the first person to shut that down. I've been defending Dwayne from the jump. From the jump, man, I seriously have. So, um, but yeah, him and celebrating after that, after playing like that, I, I just wasn't a fan. I'm not gonna say I wasn't a fan of it, but I was just okay, Dwayne. You need to relax, bro. You, you really didn't. You're not the reason why we won that game. You're really not the reason, you know. And um, Quint Dunbar and the defense and Steven Sims really won us that game. And Dwayne, you could we could have been won that game if you were accurate on at least two, th- at least two of those throws. That she missed. We would have been one that game. We should have really blew the, the Lions out. The Lions, the Lions were playing like they didn't want to win that game. To be honest with you, um, you know, I'm just being honest. I'm being honest fan, and I'm happy we won. But um, it was a stressful game, man. They almost gave me a heart attack, man. Thank you. Like I said, you will understand what I'm talking about if you watch the stream. Um, like I said, appreciate you guys for watching the stream and liking and commenting and subscribing to the channel. Um, it's been a rough year. It's been a rough year. I, I think we're gonna win one more game. I really do. I think we're gonna win one more game. Um, and I know everybody wants Chase Young, and I, and in my mock draft I said Andrew Thomas would be our pick, our second pick of the draft, and I've been getting killed for it. I've been getting killed for it, and I know there's mixed emotions, and I know a lot of people want Andrew Thomas too. I'm not the only, I'm not, I'm not the only person that is saying uh, we should probably draft Andrew. And, and like I said, I would love to have Chase Young. Chase Young, I watched Chase Young against Penn State yesterday, and he was a man amongst boys. Now he's mean. He's mean. Like I like I want Montez Sweat to be mean. Chase Young is mean. He is mean. He is an a-hole when he plays. He scares people. He scared that offensive lineman into all this. The offensive lineman from Penn State got a freaking false start because he was scared. He was scared of Chase Young. He, he jumped up. He was like, oh, my gosh, Chase Young is coming. And he, he, like, jumped before the play started and false started because he wanted to get a head start because he knew Chase Young was going to kick his ass on that play. He just knew it. You know, sorry for the language, but he, he knew that Chase Young was just going to dog him and, and get the sack. So... That's what we need Montez to do. And like I, I would love to get Chase Young, you know. But um, I, I think we're going to win one more game. I really do. I think we're going to win one more game. I think we're going to go 3-13 and 13 or 4-12. and 12. That's what I think we're going to do. We might fool around and beat the Eagles. The Eagles have been playing so awful to the point where we might even be the Eagles, you know. <laughs> we really might be the Eagles, you know. They've been playing that bad. Um, so we'll see, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this game. I know everybody has their own opinion. And everybody feels their own way about Haskins, you know. Just keep the negativity to yourself. I know everybody wants to trade him and whatnot. I'm riding with Haskins. I think we should draft either an offensive tackle or Chase Young. And like I said, you know, if we draft Andrew Thomas, I think that's the smart pick. And then draft a receiver in the second round, Demo- Devontae Smith out of Alabama. And then draft a tight end in the third or fourth round. So you can get rid of Sprinkle. You can get rid of, of Vernon Davis. You can get rid of Jordan Reed. And you have a good offense. And then if he doesn't ball out with those, if he doesn't ball out with Devontae Smith, Terry McLaurin, Calvin Harmon, Bryson Hopkins out of Purdue, if he and Andrew Thomas blocking for him, then yeah, Haskins is a bust. Then you can call him up. If he doesn't ball out with that core group around him, then yes, he's a bust. And then maybe in free agency you can get uh, Robbie Anderson or something like that from the Jets. 
So I will be doing more off-season videos as well. So thank you guys once again for supporting the channel, liking, commenting, and thank you for subscribing to the channel. I, I freaking lost my voice over this game. <laughs> you know, I don't know if you guys can even hear me. But, um, you know, they, they, they just, it's like a roller coaster for this terrible team. It's a roller coaster, man. It really is. And, um, you know, I will not be live streaming the uh, Panthers game. I think we played the Panthers. Yeah, we played the Panthers. I will not be live streaming because I will be out and about. I will be partying. Um, yeah, I just got a notification. He missed the final snap because he was so happy that like Case Keenum freaking took a knee. Uh, I was like, why is Case Keenum taking a knee? It has to get your butt out there and take the freaking knee, bro. Like, what are you doing? Like, we won the Super Bowl. It's your first win, man. Come on. Um, so I'll be at, um, if you are grown, man, you can meet me at Rose Bar. Meet me at, I'm gonna be at Rose Bar. You know, I, I ain't trying to be like, I mean, it's called Barcode. I ain't trying to be like y'all all, but I'm gonna be out Barcode on Sunday. Uh, on Sunday for brunch, you know, it's like unlimited drinks and stuff like that you know it's, it's a buffet so it's gonna be lit it's gonna be lit. like i said barcode is in dc so if you're gonna be out there i'm not i'm not gonna be like john wall where john wall's always in rose ball and stuff you know but uh, i'm gonna be partying sunday i'm gonna be watching the game too so i will not be able to live stream but i will definitely try to live. i had a lot of fun in the live stream it was fun as crap it really was it was fun i had a lot of fun so all right y'all end it here all right y'all hail to them skins man hail to the wizards caps nats mystics all them champs all right y'all peace